We have uh, three questions that are all kind of similar to one another. Um, one of the challenges to answering some of your questions is not knowing the head of hair that we are um, and the specificity to the question to the hair texture that we can't see. Um, so I've got like three questions that are kind of all similar or that are all relevant to wash and go styling. One is how to winterize wash and go styling. One is how do I do a wash and go styling without going to my um, going to bed with my hair wet, which I don't suggest or would ever do. Um, the other one is um, how do I do a wash and go style in colder normal northern climate or the winter. Um, did I say that already? No. Okay, so um, wash and go styling is a technique and slash hair care, right? It's a styling technique and it's also a way to care for your hair. And depending on your hair texture, um, depending on how tight it is versus how loose it is will determine, wherever you are on the grading scale, will determine how frequently you should do a wash and go style on your hair texture. So the tighter your hair texture is, if you're someone who is around the fours, the, the wash and go styling needs to be done more frequently because you have a tighter, naturally drier texture in wash and go styling um, and um, co-washing um, and the two go together, right? Because I've, I've told you in the past that there's no such thing as, as co-washing, uh, a product called co-wash. You have to um, wash and go style your hair, you have to do a co-wash. So co-washing is something that you do, it's not something that you buy. So if you're in a colder season or a colder climate, doing a wash and go style, when it is, it's, 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 it's become something that's more convenient and or you determine when you do it in the colder season by doing it in a more convenient time of the day. So kinky hair needs to be done more frequently. The looser your hair texture is, the curlier the threes can be done less frequently. So if you're doing co-washing or, I mean, sorry, wash and go styling in the winter time, it's sometimes inconvenient or not convenient to do your hair in the morning time when it's cold outside. I'm not suggesting that you should do that in the morning or leave the house with wet hair. Do it at night when it's convenient, when you can get on your computer, watch TV, read a book, when it's convenient for you to sit under a dryer. It doesn't matter what time of the day you're doing it, as long as you're doing it every day or every two days maximum. Um, don't try to get five days out of a wash and go style if you're number four in the kinkies. You'll just dry your hair out and tangle it up and it'll just lock up. That's not why you do wash and go styles for kinky or fours. You do wash and go styles for those textures because it keeps the hair soft and elongated. Again, you do it when it's freak, when it's convenient to do it, which is in nine in the morning, do it at night. No. Really? Jackie, really? <laughs> Jackie! I forgot Jackie! Saying. Jackie! Why, <laughs> Jackie? Go on, y'all go on to like <laughs> 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 go on, go on YouTube and look at a video <laughs> called Jackie and Deborah. <laughs> Please, you will die. <laughs> Jackie! <laughs> Jackie's Deborah's best friend, and Deborah's not having Jackie anymore. Um, so she walks around with this fictitious tape on her nose, and she's really a man, and she turns into a girl. Anyway, so. <laughs> am I making any sense, Jesse? You are. You are. I am. I'm following. Okay. So, so I don't want this to confuse you. So. The question about going to going to bed with wet hair with your wash and go, why would you do that? Again, do a wash and go when it's convenient for you to do a wash and go, which doesn't necessarily mean that you have to do it in the morning. Do it at night. You do a wash and go style when it's convenient, and that can be at night. And to address the question of the, um, uh, the woman who su suggested or asked, can, should I go to bed with wet curly hair? Why would, that's got to be the most clammy sleep ever. No, don't go to bed with wet curly hair or wet kinky hair. 
dry your hair at night, do your wash and go style at night, and sit under a dryer at night when it's convenient for you to spend the time under the dryer, and then instead of fluffing at night, tie your hair down after it's dry, and you've been on your computer or watching Empire, um, or watching the news, and trying to avoid a war, and seeing how Trump takes us in with that and all that stuff. But the whole, the whole point is that doing a wash and go should be something that's convenient, that falls into your schedule, so that you have beautiful, great, healthy hair that's still being taken care of without the inconvenience of what you think of wash and go, wet hair should be. No, don't go to bed with wet hair. Dry your hair at night. I hope that answers your question. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. So we talk, We didn't talk about winterizing. So winterizing your wash and go style, again, do it at night when it's convenient, but use the Hair Rules Hydrating Finishing Cream. Instead of at the end of your styling, you can use it as a leave-in because it leaves the hair super soft and it also um, is a, a sealant. Just like the oils that you use that become much more relevant um, in the winter dry season to put underneath your or layer underneath your styling product like you would your hydrated finishing balm you're going to also layer on before you put your styling product when you do your co-wash you'll put your oil your favorite oils whether it's coconut shea butter uh, olive oil cat black castor oil you can put that on um, after your co-wash underneath your styling product when you do your wash and go um, so it's about layering on all that product to seal the hair. You all know when it turns from summer to, to fall to winter and all of a sudden your lips get dry. Well, your hair is the driest thing on your body so that's when you want to start using oils um, and the hydrating finishing balm um, to kind of coat or co coat your, your strands to protect them, to seal in the moisture. And no, you can't put oil on hair that hasn't been moisturized with water which is co-washing, you have to use um, you have to use your oils to seal in moisture, but you can't just put it on top of dry hair that's not getting moisturized, because then you're just adding on oil onto dry hair. So I hope that helps. Oh, and, oh, come on, Jazzy. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, girl. Come on. It's too close. That's what I was giving. <laughs> I was just giving all this of this. A, this is a cute colored wash and go style. And you can, yes, you can be blonde, <laughs> yes. but you have to do wash and go styling frequently to keep your natural hair that's now colored blonde healthy. And Jasmine does wash and go, she's obsessed with wash and go styling. Obsessed. So she does all of her wash and go styles before and after her clients come in. <laughs> <laughs>